Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Dead Rock Gaming YouTube channel. This is Smart TCG, and I'm excited to be bringing you guys some brand new Paldea Evolved content. Paldea Evolved is the brand new set to come out, and I'm stoked to be providing a pretty cool deck here for you all. If you're interested in the, in the list, make sure to go check the description. And if you're looking for any of these cards, make sure to go check out deadrawgaming.com. They have tons of product that is very fantastically priced, and the link will be in the description as well. So make sure to go check that out. It's a great way to help out the team. Um, and also support the store. So anyways, let's hop into it. We got Fortress EX. This is the card that we're going to be going over. Once again, brand new card from Paldea Evolved. And I actually think it's pretty, pretty good. Fortress with that exploding energy. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to five basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. You might read that very first part and be like, this is one of the best cards ever created. However, there is a catch. If you do search your deck in this way, you get knocked out. So you literally just nuke yourself, <laughs> which is quite unfortunate. But getting the five energy does make up for it. Card press, not necessarily a super powerful attack that we're not going to be looking to use, but could potentially be useful at some point. This is the list. As I said, if you're just interested in the list, make sure to go check out the description. It'll be on there. We're going to hop into a pretty close game versus a really, really strong deck in this video. So uh, make sure to stick around if you are interested to kind of see exactly how this deck works. On top of it, we got some of our attackers here being the Alolan Executor, head swing dealing 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. For each grass energy attached to this Pokemon, pretty, pretty strong. We got our self Trevenant V with Shadow Claw being able to discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Going to be great pairing up with cards like Iono. Um, we also have Wo Chien EX with that Covetous Ivory. Going to be probably one of our main attackers, attacking 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each prize card they have taken. Pretty good in general really nice that you can snipe things we got radiant greninja for consistency we got squawk ability with that squawk and seize being able to discard your hand draw six on that first turn it's very very strong some other brand new cards in this deck are going to be iono each player shuffles their hand and puts them on the bottom of their deck if either player puts any cards on the bottom of the deck and this way each player draws a card for each of their remaining prize cards also got bravery triumph the basic a Pokemon this card is attached to gets 50 plus HP, so making your Pokemon a little bit harder to knock out, which can make all the difference in a game. But with that being said, this is the list. I've been really enjoying it. It's actually one of the most crazy decks to play right now in the standard format, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. All right, let's hop into the video. Already hopping into our game here, it looks like we got ourselves a relatively decent start. We got ourselves the Alolan Executor along with also Trevenant, um, so pretty decent here. Um, I think we're going to start with the Pineco just because the Pineco gets knocked out regardless. So this pretty much guarantees us the flexibility to choose whatever we'd like. Going up against it looks like Arctina, um, which should be a pretty close matchup. The problem is, is that they do have Path, which is kind of spooky. Um, so definitely something that we're going to have to work around, but we'll see how we're able to do. Um, oh, there's a Serene in here. Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. So they have Tina. They also have a barrel, but there's also Radiant Serena in this deck. So maybe they don't play Path because they play a Radiant Pokemon. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. So this shall be very interesting. We'll see how we're able to compete against this deck. Here's the Ultra Ball. going to be used. Be discarding two cards. Good to see some energies hit the discard pile. Never hurts. Um, always something that's important when you're playing Pokemon is to always look exactly at what resources they're potentially giving up. So that's something that I always like to do. I always like to keep a close eye on what they could be possibly losing. There is a path and there's also pass. Okay. Ooh. So the path is no fun here. Um, all right. Let's go a bunch of like, little executor. Um, we could capture an aroma here. I don't hate that. Uh, might as well thin out the deck. Let's see what we get here. We got a head, so not bad. We can get ourselves a fortress. Let's see what else we got. Um, got ourselves a couple of temples. All right, cool. Let's go nest ball. But the good thing is that we know that they're not actually doing a whole lot this turn, right? Which is a good thing. So let's go pine co. And then Nest Ball again. I guess we can get ourselves Wo Chen out of the deck here. We could also just get ourselves the Radiant Greninja. I guess Radiant Greninja is probably a little bit better here. Let's do that. And then we'll Poke Gear. So we can get here. There is a Professor's Research and an Iono. I guess I can hold the Iono for next turn. But then again, I guess I kind of want to use. Uh, maybe I should not have got. I guess I could have um, held that. But I think it's. We got two Rod. It's fine. It's fine. We got two Rod. We'll just we'll just research here. Um, not tripping too much about it. They also don't really have a good start as well. So maybe I could get them with Trevenant too. So I guess we'll bench the Trevenant. We'll bench the Wo Chen as well. Just so we have that down there. 
And then I guess we could just research here. Because we have super rods. Yeah, yeah, exactly what I said happened here. We just have the super rods, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, let's just super rod them both back. That doesn't hurt. Uh, and then I think we'll just pass it off to them. There's not really a whole lot that I need to do here. It's just waiting for that path to just get off the field. <laughs> we don't want that there. Okay, there's the barrel. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So they get to draw three here. Let's see what they end up getting. Yeah, and it just kind of comes down to if we can get ourselves... Um, the stadium bump, which we, if we can, we'll be totally fine. It's just if we can get it right. There's the energy attachment on the screen. Whoa, they're gonna roll a blast. What? Or aroma, aroma shot, aroma shot. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, well, that was not expected. Okay, well, there's Scobit coming down. Well, this just means if I just hit into the Serena, like if I just go five energy and smack, I'm still fine. Like, it's not actually that bad. <laughs> um, that is surprising that they ended up doing that, though. Definitely. <laughs> All right, there's aroma shot. Um, all right, so I guess we just go executor here, which is fine. Um, oh, there's a temple. Okay. Thank God. Okay. All right. We'll go here. Um, we'll go temple fortress nuking ourselves here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, four. And five, putting them all there. And then we will get to blown up. Unfortunately, Fortress does have to go goodbye. All right, there we go. I know I, since the since the new says a little bit new, it's a little bit it's a little bit slow. So, all right. Um, they take the two prizes, and now we can just Iono and then snipe the Babero potentially, and then we can go snipe Arceus. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like this for sure. Okay. So let's go and just Iono. All right. And then, yeah. So head swing dealing 30 damage to one of your opponents. Welcome to your guys. And attached. Pretty good. Um, There is the bravery charm as well. Like to see that. We'll put that on there. We'll attach the sixth energy there because now we can do 280 um, with a little bit more. So. I think we're just going to go head swing. There's really nothing else I could do. I guess I could bench up another pine code. That doesn't hurt just to have another pine code. Because maybe for some reason I want to go down to one, then I own it down to one, and then just blow anything up, right? So I guess we'll just go head swing and do two or 180 here. Um, and we'll go. Yeah, I guess we might actually need to do that next turn. <laughs> yeah, let's go blob it here. All right. Goodbye, Bavaro. Um, And then yeah, I guess we could just go Iono to one next turn. I guess that's actually a possibility. Um, but we would also need to find it, too, so. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what they got here. There's Giratina. Okay. What else do you got here? The The big thing is double turbo. If they have double turbo um, plus stadium, I'm concerned. But if they don't, then we're fine. <laughs> um, and I actually probably would pi I actually would probably nuke myself, too. Um, I can't. <laughs> All right, there's Scovit for one. I'm, I'm unironically actually thinking Fortress scene again. I remember there's actually a no, chance I could do that. There's Starburst, okay. Because if I do that, then I can just use um this. So six times five, I can then snipe 300 anywhere. So that seems very worthwhile. <laughs> I can just snipe 300 anywhere. So if they, if they get, they need Stadium plus DTE, I think. But that's risky because then they probably then that probably means they don't have a playable hand as well. So I don't know if that's actually what they're doing. Oh please don't don't do this if you don't have a stadium. Okay, they're researching. Please, Myth's Path. You don't need to hit this. Please, Miss Path. Oh, there's the doofer. Pow pad. They're slow rolling it. They would have slammed it down, you would have think, right? You would, you would have thunk. I mean, I guess it would make sense not to, because if they're just going to Trinity Charge and they want to pop out and everything first. Aroma. All right. Yeah, I actually think we're Fortressing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what is life? All right. No path, please. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, we deserve it. Um, Fortress. We can nuke ourselves again. 
<laughs> oh my gosh okay uh, okay there's a concession all right i think they realized that they weren't going to be able to get there and it looks like we were able to take the game there over the arceus garatina deck it looks like a pretty decent deck right pretty decent deck but anyways that's gonna do it for the video um if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe it's the best way to help us out as creators on the dutch Art gaming youtube channel Thank you so much for all the support as always. I appreciate it. And this is Smart TTG from DDG, and I'll speak with you again soon. Peace out.